Back in 2005, the Spirit rover discovered a rock with odd, wispy stripes that defied easy explanation. More than 15 years later, a possible explanation was found in earth rocks known as tufts, and now a team of scientists has set out to investigate. On this episode of Mars Guy, I'm doing fieldwork this week near the town of Bishop, California, so this episode will be a bit shorter than usual. This place is home to one of the best-known deposits of volcanic ash on Earth, called the Bishop Tuff. It formed about 750,000 years ago from the cataclysmic explosive eruptions that created the Long Valley Caldera. Our six-person team came to study these rocks because they contain features that may be relevant to rocks on Mars, in this case, ones observed by the Spirit rover. By late 2005, Spirit had traversed the basalt-covered plains of Gusev Crater and climbed up to the summit of Husband Hill, named after the commander of the Columbia Space Shuttle. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Spirit drove another 100 meters downslope from here and pulled up to this rock, where it used its rock abrasion tool to brush off the dust for a better look. Spirit used its arm-mounted camera to take a mosaic of close-up images. The mosaic includes a shadow from the arm in multiple images, but you can see the wispy dark tone bands oriented diagonally in this scene. There was no good explanation at the time for what may have formed these features, but in 2021, I came across an image of a rock from the Bishop Tuff that has notably similar wispy dark bands. I learned that volcanologists call them fiamme, the Italian word for flames, presumably because they look a bit flame-like. Fiamme form in volcanic tufts, also known as ignimbrites, where flows of nearly molten ash and other particles pile up into thick deposits. Within these deposits are pieces of volcanic pumice that form at the top of a magma chamber and are ripped out during eruption and entrained in the ash flow. Pumice is the volcanic rock that is so filled with air bubbles that it can float. After the flow is in place, the entire deposit starts to compress under its own weight. This squishes the hot bits of low-density pumice into fiamme, which often are lens-shaped and light-toned. But in parts of the Bishop Tuff, they were so compressed that they turned dark and very wispy. It's these wispy fiamme that look most like the features observed by Spirit. I wanted to see them for myself, which ultimately led to the fieldwork I'm doing in the Bishop Tuff. We're documenting abundant examples of the wispy fiamme and taking other measurements that ultimately will help to determine if Spirit found the same kind of features on Mars. If so, they'd be the first Fiamme found on Mars, and the first definitive proof that Mars has tough stuff. <laughs> 